Published 1902 EDT, 19 September 2017 Updated 1955 EDT, 19 September 2017 Used diesel car prices are higher than a year ago despite the vehicles being under fire in recent months for toxic emissions. A proposed government crackdown, the introduction of the London charge next month, other potential city toxin taxes and a ban on new petrol and diesel car sales in 2040 has resulted in an 11.5% drop off in new diesel registrations. But the UK's biggest Usedgar marketplace, Auto Trader, claims used diesel searches are still higher than any other fuel type and values are 6% up on this time last year. Is the diesel values dip short-lived Auto Trader stats showed that diesel prices have remained stable since January? and even increased last month there have also been claims of second-hand diesels hemorrhaging 25% of their value since the start of the year. However, this new report has challenged the latter figures. Auto Trader disputed the previous research in its mid-year market report based on feedback from 13,000 motorists and analysis of 55 million visits to the classified site each month. In contrast to reports that average used diesel car prices have fallen in recent months, Auto Trader reveals that average diesel used car prices are in fact increasing, the report stated. It went on to explain that diesel average price increases had been slowing on the website which hosts around 450,000 second-hand vehicles for sale each month throughout 2017, but August had bucked the trend as increases returned to growth. Year on year, the average price of a used diesel car rose by 6% last month an underlying liquor for like price increase of 2%, which was doubled out of July. Using search data from the site, it said consumer appetite for diesel hadn't waned either. While it admits experiencing a steady decline as a result of the negative coverage of diesel-powered cars, searches for them had increased from May to August, while more people search for diesel than any other fuel type 55%. The sustainability of diesel cars also looks strong, based on the figures, although some searches could be those researching how much their own car would sell for. Of the motorists surveyed, whilst advertising their car for sale in July and August, 47% of diesel owners said they were planning to buy a replacement diesel as their next car. And just 10% said the recent unfavorable coverage of diesel had influenced their decision to sell. Search traffic on the classified site shows that diesel lookups have been in decline, while petrol hunting has increased. However, diesel is still the most looked for fuel type diesel has been under significant scrutiny since the turn of the year, and has resulted in an 11.5 decline in Nuka registrations. Auto Trader also said that 60,000 new listed vehicles appeared on the website in August and private diesel adverts rose by just 0.3% year-on-year a much smaller increase than reports of flooded second-hand markets would suggest. Nathan Coe, Auto Trader Chief Operating Officer, said this sustained debate on fuel is a byproduct of a big change in the industry, as car manufacturers, who share the same goals as the government in improving air quality, make great strides to deliver cleaner, safer and more efficient cars every day. It might be tempting to focus on the negatives during periods of such change, but it's crucial that the center of the debate focuses on clearly landing the benefits and value of this change to motorists, rather than further energizing a narrative that stigmatizes cars and threatens to penalize motorists. Mr. Koa added that, while barely affecting values the diesel debate has brought confusion and anxiety to the sector. The biggest reason people are selling their diesels is concerns for future values, though it isn't a significant issue looking at these stats from Auto Trader London, will introduce the charge from 23 October in an attempt to reduce the poor levels of air pollution in the capital almost half of car buyers 49% said that the proposed outlawing of new petrol and diesel car sales from 2040 and potential taxes on diesel cars has made the buying process more challenging. So far this debate has been misleading for many motorists and unhelpful for the automotive industry at large, Co said. By persisting with the current debate, we run the risk of further confusing and alarming consumers which can affect car buying confidence, lead to knee-jerk behavior, and distract us from the most important focus of all, which is improving the cars on UK roads and our health as a result. Last week, rival online car site motorway.co.uk said some diesel cars had plunged in value by up to 25% between the beginning of January and the end of August 2017. It said that used diesel models on average 
had fallen by 5.7% in value, though the website only lists dealer models and not vehicles sold privately which might explain the difference between its interpretation of diesel prices compared to Autotrader.